Some deadly carnival rides seem so slapdash that one has to wonder how anyone ever thought they sounded like fun. Loony ideas such as a human catapult or a 16-story drop with no harness sometimes ends with disastrous accidents that seem totally out of place. But when the carnival lights are on, this is the time for real fun and thrill. Here's the list of strange and insane carnival rides in the world. A traveling carnival, usually simply called a carnival, or traveling fun fair, is an amusement show that may be made up of amusement rides, food vendors, merchandise vendors, games of chance and skill, thrill acts and animal acts, elaborate costumes and masks, and experience a heightened sense of social unity. But today we will talk about one carnival ride that is really unrealistic. This unique attraction currently only operates as a traveling fair ride. This ride features a rotating base structure that rises and falls with several main arms. The end of these stationary arms is rotating arms with two-person gondola attached at each end. Throughout the ride, the gondolas come in close contact with each other, giving riders the illusions that they are about to smash together. It may not be as intense as the other rides, but it's still an extremely memorable attraction and hopefully they will stay operating for a while longer. Appropriately named after the gymnastic maneuver, this ride gives passengers the full Simone Biles experience with a unique swaying mechanism at its center. Passengers are bounced up and down intermittently as the seats freely flip both forwards and backward. The bouncing of its main arms will give you airtime both right side up and upside down with the near miss encounters with the steel floor are sure to settle its passengers with its erratic movements in all directions. There's no doubt you'll be flicking, flacking, flipping, and flopping on this wild and crazy attraction. Megadance is a Miami built by UK manufacturer Fairmat and currently owned and traveled by UK showman James Evans. The ride was rebuilt by Eagle Fabrications at the end of the 2017 season. This amazing theme park ride is created by an Italian manufacturer. It's pretty much a fourth dimension scrambler. This attraction is pure, unfiltered insanity, with its wild rotating gondolas and mechanical flexibility, just like with an ordinary scrambler, one will still get the high g-forces and near misses with the other gondolas. But here, one will get to do all of that while being mechanically flipped upside down over and over and over again. Yes, this speed devil is one hell of a ride. The largest theme parks have these rides available. Speed Flip was built by Moser Rides and was previously located in Funland Highling Island in Highling Island, Hampshire, England, UK. The ride was exported to Romania in 2013. Funland Hailing Island is an amusement park on Hailing Island near Portsmouth, England. Funland Hailing Island contains 18 rides, an amusement arcade, as well as various independently operating arcades nearby, Diane's Diner, a kid's play area, and a pirate-themed golf course. The park is a typical funfair-styled park with the rides mainly being traveling rides from various independent funfair operators, while some rides sourced from other amusement parks. Not all rides are as easy as a crazy roller coaster ride. One of the most bizarre thrill rides there is, the Missière, returns after more than 20 years at the fair in France. This attraction, built by Spanish firm Eprole SL Zaragoza, is therefore something bizarre and unique of its kind. This attraction has occurred only for a very short life. Since 1997, it has disappeared from the scene. Parc Asterique is one of the biggest theme parks in France, with the fastest roller coasters, ghost rides, dodgems, and meet and greets to keep you going for hours, in case you still want to feel others ride right now. In October 2005, Parc Asterique ran the Festival of the Druids as a way of thumbing their noses at Halloween. In 2007, Parc Asterique opened for the first time during the Christmas holidays. In 2009, the park's 20th anniversary, it opened during the weekends in September and October and ran a Halloween event called Fear at Parc Asterique. In November 2018, the park announced the construction of a new multi-lodge roller coaster manufactured by Intamin and to be opened in 2023. In January 2021, the park announced it was closing its dolphin and sea lion aquarium in order to focus on rides and other shows. True to its name, this attraction both rocks and rolls passengers board four giant rolling drums with each of the ride's main arms holding two drums side to side. The ride's arms only serve to spin the drums sideways, but proceed to hoist guests into the air in insanely steep angles, making the ride experience even crazier with its large cylindrical gondolas. 
This wild spinning ride looks like something you use to whip up giant eggs into a giant omelet. For those not familiar with this riding style, the seats are cantilevered on each side of the vehicle as opposed to above or below the track, which allows the carriages to rotate 360 degrees. This controlled spinning or rotation is in a direction independent of the track, hence it's like a fourth dimension. Three or five sweep arms begin to rotate at 18 RPM. At the end of each sweep, six or eight riders begin a second rotation, in tight rapid circles similar to a polyp motion. With a burst of energy, all sweeps rotate upward, flipping the riders upside down while continuing to spin. When the gondolas are in their upright position, they rotate in a clockwise direction. When the gondolas are in their inverted position, they move in a counterclockwise direction. The center section of the ride moves in a counterclockwise direction. When the gondolas are inverted, their speed is added to the speed center section. When the gondolas are in their upright position, their speed is subtracted from the speed of the center section. No center raising. The combined accelerations and decelerations experienced upright and inverted provide the passengers with a wide range of sensations. The reactions of the passengers and the spectacular visual effects give this ride a magnetic draw on the park. The attraction is provided with gondolas accommodating two riders for a total seat capacity of 18, 24, or 40 passengers. Each seat has a shoulder bar and lap bar with a safety latching mechanism controlled by the operator. All gondolas are self-loading and unloading and lowered to the loading-unloading position simultaneously. Loading-unloading platforms, back scenery, lighted sign not include. Every summer at Viewmont Mall, located in Dixon City, PA, holds a carnival in the parking lot. SNS Amusements provides rides and games. Just in case you want to know the height requirement, which is 42 inches to ride alone, or 36 inches to ride with an adult. But trust me, the fun is unlimited. You can enjoy watching fair vlogs without even living in Philadelphia. Florida Strawberry Festival and Ohio State Fair rides are also somewhere where anybody enjoys the fullest. Visit the Strawberry Festival at least once in your lifetime. Beaumont Mall cost $10 million to construct, and the original anchors included Grants, JCPenney, and Sears. Sears opened first at the mall in February 1968, with JCPenney later opening in October. Grants closed at the Viewmount Mall in 1976 and was replaced by Hess's the same year. Fabri Group is an Italian amusement rides manufacturer based in Calto. They are known for producing a number of staple attractions for both amusement parks and fun fairs. After years of producing many different rides, the Fabry Group entered the roller coaster market no later than 1998 with the introduction of the Wacky Worm Type Ride. Fabry was founded by Romolo Fabri in Bergatino, an Italian village that became a home to a number of amusement ride producers after World War II. Manufacturing began in 1950 with the Avio, a ride specifically designed for traveling shows in Italy. Over the following years, Fabri would evolve this attraction into the popular telecombat ride. In the 1970s, Romolo's son, Lincinio Fabri, took the direction of the company and expanded sales beyond Italy into the rest of the European continent. The company expanded once again with the founding of FC Fabry Park Sr. in the 1990s with the goal of reaching out to the world market. In more recent years, the company has found success in producing large thrill rides such as the Booster, a pendulum ride that has sold over 50 units since 2000. The Challenger ride was inspired by the Space Shuttle and completely designed by technical parks designers and engineers. You may have seen the State Fair vlog about this. Once the passenger is safely on board the vehicle, the main arms slowly lift themselves up to a height of one meter in order to permit the safe rotation of the two arms carrying the two vehicles. Whereas the vehicles are starting to rotate, the main arm reaches its highest level of 13 meters above the ground, making a 45 degree angle. The company Technical Park is constantly moving to stay ahead of the curve in meeting the rigorous technical requirements for amusement rides of the 21st century but always without abandoning the tradition by coexisting artistic craft methods and new materials. The engineering department pursues to always match cutting edge technology and creative designs. And this capacity has led to long-standing collaborations with a network of subcontractors and affiliated companies leading each to its own roles. From the home factory of Melora, rides are delivered worldwide meeting local requirements that are not just commercial, but technical and especially regulatory, each country may establish the rule. 
From north to south, from east to west, none of the five continents is excluded from the around the globe supply request and after sales service which is implemented with the most advanced technologies to allow also immediate remote response when applicable. Carnival rides are one of the most exciting and thrilling things you can do at any state fair. A favorite among children and adults alike, there are rides for people of all ages. Now we will talk about another popular strange and insane carnival ride that is the Flying Circus Magic Arms. This was a one-of-a-kind attraction that really had to be seen to be believed. The ride consisted of a massive rotating arm with another spinning arm at its end like a cheerleader twirling a baton. Passengers are seated around the bottom of the second arm and the unique rotations lead to a disorienting and flat-out fun ride experience. The gondola also spins guests sideways so you can call this a giant frisbee gone mad with its vibrant and colorful light patterns. Heartbreaker is made by Dutch manufacturer Mondale. Whoever thought of combining a top scan and a magic carpet ride really deserves a promotion. This epic attraction rotates guests around the center axis all while both gondolas independently flip forwards and backward. Passengers who dare brave this ride will be repeatedly pushed into and lifted out of their seats throughout the ride without a single dull moment. You'll pretty much feel like you're being blown into a tornado at full speed. It's unknown why exactly this is called a heartbreaker, but perhaps it's named after how thrill seekers will feel when the ride is over. The Heartbreaker's design and ride experience are unique and they're kind of incomparable with anything ever built. The ride performs loopings with very quick rotations. During some rotations, the gondola is upside down and they flip repeatedly, making wild loopings after each other. Did you know that there are 5,814 amusement and theme parks in the United States? The amusement park industry assures the public that its parks and rides across America are safe. Eventually, Amusements of America grew into the world's largest traveling amusement park, and now it owns come rides sourced from all over the world, Germany, France, and the Czech Republic, to name just a few countries of origin. There's an international convention for amusement park owners in Orlando, Florida every November, where ride makers from all over the world show off their new idea. Now let's move into the game, talking about the most amazing magnetic storm. An original attraction by a French showman. While most showmen typically purchase rides to tour at fairs, some showmen go above and beyond and design their own rides. That's the case with this unique attraction. Now you may be looking at this and thinking this looks boring. Well, it may move like a giant metronome at first, but with the push of a button, the seats swing freely both clockwise and counterclockwise as the pneumatic cylinder swings guests back and forth. The momentum forcibly flips them as they come within inches of the ground. Manufacturers have been looking for ways to make rides more interactive since the late 40s, and Skyflyer, designed by the German ride maker Gerstlauer, is a fine example of how far the industry has advanced. This swing-type contraption allows riders to control the number of barrel rolls they do by manipulating the positioning of the wings as they spin around. The concern often is subjecting riders to high Gs for a sustained period, but points out that Skyflyer is self-limiting in many ways. Gerstlauer Amusement Ride GmbH, is a manufacturer of stationary and transportable amusement rides. Beyond Germany's borders, the name Gerstlauer is the name to know when roller coasters, rides, and amusement rides turn and move in amusement parks, at fun fairs, or at public festivals. They supply innovative and safe products, as well as individual, customized services in the field of amusement facilities. The world's smallest and largest amusement parks benefit from the high-quality standards, flat hierarchies, and full range of services offered by our owner-managed family business. They have long-standing and trustful relationships with their customers and convince with maintenance-friendly and safe rides, which are fun for their customers and their guests. They are proud that many of their customers, therefore, choose them again and again as a partner for their new attractions and successfully operate several of their installations. This is a rotating overhead ride made by the Italian company Soriani and Moser. There are currently two rides of this type in Germany, operated by the showman Schmidt under the name Transformer and Kaiser. In Germany, rides are subject to strict controls by the TUV and must be checked annually for damage and wear. After each construction, the local building authority must check whether an amusement ride has been set up in accordance with TVU regulations. The ride may only be put into operation after the acceptance test, which also includes a test drive. 
Moser's rides, which were formerly known as Soriani and Moseris, an Italian amusement ride manufacturer based in Ostagilia. Their most notable ride is the Mock Tower in Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, in James City County, Virginia. Moser's rides were founded in 1997 in Mellora, in Rogovino Province, or Veneto region, by Alfero Moso and his three sons Stefano Moser, Mattia Moser, and Sebastiano Moser, from former Soriani and Moser. They moved to Ostiglia in 1998. As of July 2018, the company production list includes 20 thrill rides and 17 fun rides. Experience 15 high-speed rotations per minute on this coaster, a giant pendulum that spins and swings riders through the air. Reach 65 feet and experience cyclonic forces on this mechanical giant, but that's the past, because Vortex is a suspended roller coaster at Canada's Wonderland in Vaughan, Ontario. It officially opened during the 1991 season. As with other suspended roller coasters, Vortex's trains swing under the track. On May 30, 1986, Island announced that they would be adding a new roller coaster for the 1987 season. For the design and construction of the attraction, Kings Island turned to Aerodynamic, an industry-leading manufacturer at the time. It would sit in the former location of The Bat, the world's first suspended roller coaster, which was removed after the 1984 season. The defunct coaster's line queue and train station were retained and reused for the new ride. Construction began in early June 1986 when the Bats area was closed. The following month, Kings Island announced that they would be naming the new coaster Vortex. The park invested over $4 million in the ride, which required 750 tons of steel to construct. It opened to the public on April 11, 1987, and helped the park exceed 3 million visitors for the first time in its history. At its inauguration, Vortex briefly set two world records among full-circuit roller coasters. It was the tallest at 148 feet and featured the most inversions with six. Both were surpassed the following year with the debut of Shockwave at Six Flags Great America. In September 2019, the park announced plans to close Vortex permanently in October 2019. Area manager Don Helbig stated that the coaster had reached the end of its service life. During its lifespan, Vortex accommodated over 46 million riders, ranking it seventh in King Island's history as of 2019. The Crazy Train was made by American manufacturer Larson International. This ride resembles more of a train moving along a track passenger slowly traverses the oval-shaped track, which would be cool enough for the hang time. But this ride goes one step further by spinning the track perpendicular to the train's movement. So while the trains vertically loop the track, the track itself repeatedly flips them upside down horizontally. When the whole thing is all over, all you'll be able to say is what just happened. Kudos to them for doing something unique. Larson International is a designer and manufacturer of amusement rides based in Plainview, Texas. The company has designed its own collection of amusement rides, as well as owning rights to rides originally designed by Bish Rocco and Selner Manufacturing, JNS Rides Incorporated, currently doing business as Larson International, dates back at least to 1988. In January 2002, Larson International, along with AM Tech and International Ride Services, hosted the annual Amusement Industry Manufacturers and Suppliers Safety Seminar. In February 2002, Larson International acquired the rides to Bish Rocco's Flying Scooters Ride. In the late 1920s, Alvin Bish and Ralph Rocco designed a rotating ride-like device for training pilots. In the 1930s, this design evolved into the Flying Scooters Amusement Ride. Several installations were manufactured by Bish and Rocco. The first new installation by Larson International was purchased by California's Great America and installed in 2002. Booster is a famous ride in many parks around the world and also in Orlando theme park VR. We've got a fight on our hands when it comes to people boasting the best views of Brighton, but we think this one grabs the gold. Spin, turn upside down, and be catapulted 130 feet into the air. This speed of booster ride is a giant 120 foot tall ride that flips riders head over foot. The Alter Ego seats four riders on each end of the tower and riders are secured using over the shoulder restraints. Ghost Rider is the longest, tallest, and fastest wooden roller coaster on the West Coast. Looming 118 feet over historic Ghost Town, Ghost Rider is the largest attraction at Knott's Berry Farm and one of the longest and tallest wooden roller coasters in the world. 
Brave riders enter a mysterious mine and board a gold, silver, or copper mining car before being sent galloping along over 4,500 feet of twisting timber. The massive roller coaster includes 14 hills providing tons of airtime through the nearly three-minute journey. For the ultimate thrill, take a ride at night when every twist and turn is hidden in darkness. Ghost Rider has been routinely featured on the list of the best wooden coasters in the entire world since opening in 1998. In late 2015 through spring 2016, a complete track refurbishment was performed on the ride, creating an improved ride experience with a smoother track and new trains. Made by Dutch manufacturer Mondale, it's not every day you see a ride with four rotational axes much like a fine pizza. Each part of this ride serves a purpose. The giant spinning disc is the crust. The whole foundation of the ride is the other parts are built on the main arms is the sauce. Each one holds four gondolas and rests directly on top of the disc. The gondolas, of course, are the cheese and toppings. Each gondola can rotate sideways on the arms, much like how the salty cheese perfectly complements the savory sauce. So basically, the Shake Circular Ride is an eye-catcher on every fairground. The rotations of the platform are variable. The ride has four or five cross arms on the platform which rotate in opposite directions as the platform. Four gondolas are positioned suspended on each cross arm and they rotate, swing and roll over independent of each other. Special features are for example a back wall or roofing. There are a number of notable people from the amusement industry who have either worked with or have relations with Anton Schwarzkopf. His brother, Franz Schwarzkopf, was also a ride designer around the same time as Anton and designed many staples of the amusement parks and carnivals alike, such as the Wave Swinger. Anton's son, Wilad Britschkopf, also became involved with the industry, starting out at Schwarzkopf and later starting his own business in 1984. Originally designed by Wieland Schwarzkopf, the looping polyp was similar to the Monster, but featured cars that could flip over as well as spin. The cars were also suspended below the crosses, rather than above. The prototype, Soundfact, built for German showman Kinsler in 1997, was the only looping polyp ever built, as the ride was plagued by mechanical issues and was pulled out of service just a couple years later. Gerst Lauer of Germany replaced the original looping cars with spinning cars for showman Angier, who currently travels the ride around various German funfairs under the name Parkour. Infinity Carnival Rider is located on top of Vegas' stratosphere. Infinity the ride lives up to its name by dangling passengers 65 feet over the edge of the building. Stratosphere is a hotel and casino located in Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. The new name is the Strat Hotel and includes a 1,149-foot observation tower, the tallest in the United States. It is also the second tallest observation tower in the Western Hemisphere, surpassed only by the CN Tower in Toronto, Ontario. The tower is topped by a pod, which includes a revolving restaurant, lounges, and observation deck. The top of the tower also has several thrill rides. So, one of these thrill rides has the giant inverted centrifuge that can apply as much as 3 Gs to riders as it spins at speeds up to 40 miles an hour attaching a giant mechanical arm to a skyscraper that is no easy task. Outward-facing riders are tilted at a 70-degree angle, making for some of the best and most frightening views anywhere in Sin City. So which one did you find the most strange and insane? Do you have any experience of riding any carnival rides? Let us know in the comments below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.